Storytime face. After high school, I went to college for two semesters, and then I flunked out. I was in a completely different state. All my friends lived in the dorm I had to move out of so I basically had nowhere to go. One of my friends told me she knew a girl in her psych class named Reagan that needed four new roommates. Apparently all four of the roommates she had broke their lease and just left. I knew that was a major red flag, but I think I was so desperate that I thought I could figure it out, whatever it was, but I still have the scars to remind me that I had no idea what I was actually getting myself into. I met Reagan and she seemed really normal, but something in the back of my mind told me I should probably talk to her old roommates first. I got all their phone numbers, but as soon as I mentioned Reagan they would just hang up. I should have just called my parents and gone home, but I didn't want them to know I failed. So I felt like Reagan was my only option, and I almost lost my face because of it. I moved in with Reagan pretty quick, and everything was great. We had the whole five-bedroom house to ourselves, and I didn't have to pay anything until I got a job. Reagan would always go out of her way to tell me how pretty I was, and at first it was really nice to hear. But then it just got plain weird. She started commenting on how soft my hair was, but she had never touched it, at least not that I ever noticed, and sometimes I would catch her just staring at me. I had a lock on my room door, but I started feeling like I really wasn't safe. Reagan never did anything besides the weird stuff, but I could just feel it. So this random day I decided I would look through her computer. I literally didn't believe what I found, but I wish I had. Search after search about how to fillet things, where muscles were in the face, and how to prevent shriveling. It was weird but I didn't put it together. Then one night Reagan cooks dinner for the both of us, and halfway through the meal I start feeling lightheaded and woozy. I woke up still in the kitchen my head was throbbing, and my hair was in my face. I put my hand up to run my fingers through my hair, but instead my hand went underneath my scalp. I had no idea what was happening I just knew I needed to get out of there so I tried, but I couldn't see. I realized there was something covering my eyes, but when I tried to take it off the pain was unbearable. I ended up crawling around until I found the front door, and made it outside. Someone walking to class heard me screaming and called the police. I found out later that the thing covering my eyes was my face drooping. Reagan had been carefully trying to peel it off and I still have the scars from her trying to wear my face.